Let's take a look how I made this Chrome text animation here in After Effects. All right, so let's create a new composition. I gotta rename it as Final Comp. I gotta go with uh, 1080p, somewhere around 10 seconds, black background, click OK. Type in whatever you want, press the letter S, scale it up. I went with the Carol Grotesque Regular. It's a free Adobe font you can download. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. And for this example, I'm gonna drag and drop this texture. I went with these Chrome textures from rawpixel.com. I'm gonna leave the links in the description with every each. Now we're gonna go and right click on the Chrome texture. Let's go to pre-comp, rename it as texture, and make sure to select move all attributes into the new composition. Click OK. We're gonna do the same thing with the text, right click, pre-comp, rename as text. Click OK. From here, let's go and uncheck the text layer and let's select the texture layer. Now let's go to the effects and presets, type in glass, drag and drop the glass on the texture. Let's go to the surface and we're gonna change the texture to the text. And here you can see the slide displacement. We're also gonna go and change the property to alpha. And we're gonna play around with the softness. I'm gonna go down a little bit to create a stronger contrast. Now I'm gonna go to the height. I gotta go with 60-ish. And here we got the displacement as well. So I gotta go with uh, the height 40, displacement 60. Let's go back to the effects and presets, type in plastic, drag and drop under the glass. We're gonna do the same thing here, open up the surface, change the texture to text, luminance to alpha, and I'm gonna bring down the softness. Anto is going to disappear that outline. Now let's see the height. I'm gonna test it out with one. We also got the light options here. You can increase or decrease them to add more contrast. And I'm gonna collapse it back. Now let's go back to the facts. Type in blobby. Drag and drop blobby under plastic. Oh wow, check this out. We're gonna open up the blobbiness. And again, we're gonna change the texture to text. Properties to alpha. And here with the softness and cut away, you can reduce those thick strokes or increase it back. And from here, we're gonna go and animate this texture and also increase the contrast and the details. So we're gonna go to the effects and presets, type in turbulent and displace and drag and drop above the glass. And here you can increase the amount and check this out. It is going to distort the texture and it's gonna increase the details quite a bit until it's gonna create these dark areas which we don't want. So I'm gonna decrease the amount until it's gonna disappear actually. You also got the size, you can test that out as well. Check that out, it makes it even more colorful. Now we're gonna to need to animate the texture. We're gonna to go to the evolution, activate the stopwatch. And I'm gonna go somewhere around seven seconds. And I'm gonna type in here one. So it's gonna rotate 360 degrees. And now it is rotating. And not but least, I'm gonna bring this back. And we're gonna go down to CC Blobby. And let's activate the stopwatch of the softness and cut away. Press the letter U. So it's gonna highlight the keyframes. And I'm gonna select these keyframes and bring it somewhere around three seconds. And I'm gonna make this disappear. So for example, if you increase the cut away, it is going to disappear. So right now the softness is on 32 and the cutaway 99. Let's see what happens if I hit play. Beautiful. I'm also gonna select all the keyframes, press F9 to easy ease. And that's how you make this liquid chrome text effect here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.